welcome back. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that none of you had worked in a professional kitchen before. Certainly not one as intimidating as this. You've all performed spectacularly well. The chefs here were telling me they didn't realize that people who'd never been to catering college, had never worked in the kitchen, could come in here and make that kitchen their own. So congratulations for that. Now before I tell you who's staying and who's going home, I'm going to ask the chefs to give you their opinions. Madhushri. Madhushri, put your hand up so Massimo knows which oh, one you okay. are. Alright, Massimo, tell us. I really like also the welcome drink. Men corso, so so. This said okay. Okay. Alright, he's a man of few words. Vikram? Uh, you did well, right? Overall, you did well. You put in that effort. I could see that effort. There was problems in execution, which is understandable. That you know, we also get flabbergasted when you when you go to a new place. But uh, in spite of all of that, you did pretty well. Uh, apart from the main course, I think um, I would not say anything was that bad, right? So, well done, chef. Uh, I think your your menu, your dishes, you chose are very simple. I think that's probably the best thing you did, and you did them well. So you didn't go for anything very fancy, but plain simple dishes. They were tasty. Presentation you probably need to do a bit of work on, but a quality of food overall, not bad. Okay, I like the pakoras, or sorry, fritters as you call them. I like the chutney, what else I like? Uh, I like the idea, though I think you have to give ITC the credit for that, of putting zucchini into your raita. I thought that worked really well. I thought there was a problem with the prawn pulao, in that it was under seasoned, but you can probably work on that. Samina. That's not bad the job at all. Yeah. Okay, I like Appetizer could be maybe a little better, but pasta, okay. And even a dessert, okay. Vikram? I would not know why would you just slice some zucchini and serve it with some tomato. I mean, it doesn't make sense when you come to a competition. Right? And that too, uh, in, in, in the presence of, of professional chefs, in the presence of Mr. Sangvi here, uh, so that effort is, is, is something that was missing in you. You have the ability, you have the techniques, you have the basic understanding. Organization is something that you'll have to work. You were, you and you, both of you guys were the messiest in the kitchen, right? You were, you were spilling things here and there, you were shouting, screaming, howling, you know, doing all sorts of things. Be a little more organized, plan your work, that is the most important thing. That will save you time actually. Chef? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think of Samina? The, I think uh, the only dish that I remember is your chocolate, your dessert. Again, minus the strawberries, of course. Uh, I think the other dishes were tasted all right, but appearance-wise, I think you left a lot to be desired. You know, it weren't appealing. You didn't feel like eating them really. So, except your pasta looked all right, but presentation needs a lot of work. I thought you were fine. I thought the kitchen meltdown could have been avoided. You need to learn to cook under pressure. You need not to get so phased. You need, as he says, to be slightly less messy. I really had no problem with it. Sandeep, what did you think, Massimo? Sandeep is the gentleman here, right? That's right. I really appreciate what you have done. I believe that you have a quite good skill. So I particularly appreciate your, uh, your fish, your mango, it was even the, the, the appetite. Okay. Great job, well done. Vikram, what do you think of Sandeep? Your fish was good, right? Your appetizer was good. Uh, your welcome drink was okay, right? And dessert was a disaster. All in all, um, I think you were one of the best, probably amongst the lot. Congratulations. Ajit? Uh, I think overall, very good. Uh, quite impressed with what you came up with. Uh, to put it another way, I might even give you a job in my kitchen. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, I think you have an unfair advantage perhaps over these people. You travel a lot, you eat out a lot, you blog about food, you know how to make your food look restaurant quality. So, yes, well, obviously in those obvious ways you did well. When you had to take a classic dish, like figs poached in red wine, you screwed it up. <laughs> but I have to tell you that despite everything, you're our top scorer and you're staying. Congratulations. Congrats. Sneha. Alright. Massimo, that is Sneha. What did yeah, you think? Sneha. What did you think? Okay. Uh, 
I didn't like the will come drink. Starter was not so bad. Main course, no. No? And dessert, no. Okay, all right. Vikram? The only thing that I remember is the rice. Everything else was, was bad, was, was not good. My only uh, you know, question or problem I request to you is when you come to, to a competition in a, in, a, in a professional kitchen, you, you should put in that effort. That effort was missing, nothing else. Mr. Bagar, what did all, you think? All I would like to say is that you didn't come prepared today. I mean, you were not prepared. Your dishes didn't, were not fit for a competition. Okay, I, I actually think you're a good chef. I saw you working in the kitchen. You have good ideas. Sometimes it doesn't matter in competitions whether you're good or you're bad. It's only as good as you were during those 90 minutes. Perhaps you were more uncomfortable than most people in this kitchen. Therefore, there were a few mistakes made. But regardless of what the scores are, don't be disheartened. Stick in there. You have real talent. Yuvraj. The overall is not bad. Not, not bad at all. Uh, welcome drink, okay. Starter, I like it. Vikram? Uh, you have the confidence, right? But there is a very thin line between being confident and you know, being over it. Uh, I think you are on the brink of that, right? You, you have the ideas. You have the ability, but uh, sometimes you get carried away, right? Apart from the chicken appetizer, uh, I don't remember much, right? Though all of it was good, right? I, it was not as bad, but when I've tasted all five, the only thing that stands out for me, for you, was the chicken. Okay. For me, Chef. I think you were probably very brave in what you tried. I think, give you marks for that. But I think uh, it's important to deliver. I don't think you delivered for me. I think your dishes were adventurous and you tried hard, but like for example, your Afghani pulao, the meat wasn't cooked. You know, your starters didn't do much for me, your, your welcome drink. So even the dessert didn't do much. I think, but they were, would have been very nice dishes if you had achieved what you wanted to do. I think you failed me that way. You have, of all, I can, not revealing any secrets, of all the judges who've marked you today, I gave you the highest marks. Mainly, I thought because of that chicken escalope that you did, the thing you pretended with the Thai dish. I liked it because I thought the frying was good. I thought the chicken was moist. But I agree with the chefs. I think your ambition exceeded what you were capable of in this strange kitchen working today. Things like the Afghani pulao were bad choices. Moment of truth. Who stays, who goes? I'm going to give you the scores. Let's start with you, Sandeep. Let's start with you. Sandeep, you are staying on. You got 31, our highest individual score of the day. <laughs> Yuvraj, you didn't do so well, despite my marking, I have to say. Others marked you down. You got 21. <laughs> Madhushri, there is logic sometimes in making pakoras. You got 25. Now, there will always be other days. Don't worry about this. You're a very good chef. You got 15. <laughs> Samina, we've told you what you need to know. You got 22. <laughs> Those of you who are good at mathematics will have worked out what is going to happen next. I'll tell you who's going to stay. Sandeep is going to stay. Madhushri is going to stay and then we have a very very close competition because Meena you have 22, Yuvraj you have 21. So your stay. Very very narrow Yuvraj, very very unlucky but I have this terrible feeling I'm going to see you again. Thank you guys to all of those who won, congratulations to the people who haven't. Don't give up, there's always another chance. So let me just repeat this for the last time. Sandeep, Samina, Madhushri, you're in. I'll see you at the next round. Sneha and Yuvraj, it was fun. We'll see each other soon. 
See you in the next round, guys. Yeah. Come. Yeah.